Richie, thanks for joining us. The pre-season schedule underway. Just how excited are you about next season? I'm excited about next season. I'm not excited about these kind of games. They don't, they don't really get my adrenaline going. They don't get the pulse going. Um, but they are a means of a means. You know, you turn up your first game after you've worked hard. The players have been fantastic. But then it's an Asher Turf pitch. It's roasting. I thought the first half players found it tough in terms of the heat was, was, was extreme. But, you know, all the players have acquitted themselves, no injuries. And some of the things in terms of out of possession we got to... But when you pick two teams like that and it's mix and match, it's, it can be very difficult. So we've got through it, no injuries, and I'm pretty pleased. And that's important because I remember this time last season at Haringey, you picked up a couple of significant injuries, didn't you? Well, yeah. I mean, when you change surfaces, it's, it can be really difficult. I don't know. I don't understand how these teams, especially when you look at the National League and and in Scotland where they have Asher turf pitches and these teams are playing on. Gra- I think it's really difficult. But um, I think first half we listen, we had all the ball more or less the whole game. But I thought their shape was really good. You have to give them credit. And a typical pre-season game, you want to play in front of them. Every goal has to be perfect. When they were quite high, but the distance, we, we had no pockets to play in. And we just need to lift the ball over the top more, more to try and create them gaps in, in the middle of the pitch. And we'd never done that. I thought second half it was more or less in complete domination. We just needed the goal to break them down. But like I say, a lot of players got good minutes and it's, it's just a starting board for them. Over 1,600 here, and I think uh, for the audience supporters, they were the majority, and they enjoyed seeing the new signings. Well, I thought Max Sanders was the best player on the pitch, first half, his range of passing is there for all to see, he's a clever footballer, and when we tidy him up, he, he's going to be a real asset to the club. I thought Sam Howes in goal looked really composed, he'd done everything with, a, with an intensity to him. You've seen little glimpses of Dan Adji, he's a week behind the rest of the lads, but you've seen little glimpses where... You know, he can manoeuvre the ball, he's got pace, he's got power, so he's exciting. And I thought, Ethan, you've shown little touches of class as well, second half. So, obviously, Idris was only training with us two days, so we felt it was important that he got a training session today. And on Astro, not doing much, it was a little bit of a, of a risk to train. So, listen, I think the four good signings, um, hopefully, I can see Lingy. If you turn the camera down around now, look, let's go and turn it around. You see Lingy's on his phone there. Hopefully, we might... Oh, he's just put it down. It wasn't that long. Hopefully, we might have... Um, couple more in the next week or so and is it because of the pitch that Dan Happy didn't feature tonight no Dan's not trained for, uh, he, he's doing his own um, training programme with um, with Melvin and with Keats and when he I think probably Monday we'll have to be careful with a travel with a travel schedule but definitely by Tuesday he'll be he'll be back training fully we just need to he, when you do your middle you're just scared of just that contact you know, the block tackle where he can just open up. So we'd be careful with him. In terms of his fitness, he's doing a lot of running, so that should be fine. Charlton on the first day of the season, Charlton on Monday in Spain. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, will, it won't have any bearings on, on the first game of the season. The, the atmosphere, the intensity, everything about it will be totally, totally different. Um, and we've, we've arranged with, with, with Charlton to play four thirty 30 minutes so everybody can play 60, so... Obviously, that's not the case in the first game of the season. We, we want the majority of 11 to play to play 90. So, yeah, it's, if we could have changed it, we would, probably would have changed it, but we're already committed to it. So, yeah, we just, we'll just crack on. Charlton, Plymouth, Portsmouth. It couldn't be a harder start, could it? I hope we don't play. I would play Plym- Plymouth in the... Yeah, in the court. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah it's, uh, the pain in the ass about that is it's away. It's, I mean, is he a, a, a further... We always get away trips. I remember Forest Green last year. Um, no, I mean... Charlton, obviously, new manager going in, seeing the season off, a lot of transition. Um, Ports will be will be strong next year. You would imagine that. For me, them them kind of clubs in League One shouldn't be they're a given. They should give me a gimme. They shouldn't be in League One. A, a huge crowd, huge stadiums, huge clubs. So um, I think it's a great start. Why not start with a? You've got to play them all twice anyway. Um, I'd rather play them now than let's say a Bolton, a Barnsley that have got the majority of the players that have a bit of cohesion and we should have a lot of cohesion if you look at our back four our midfield has more or less stayed the same um, out of the players that we've lost we've only really lost Kelman and, and Paul Smith from our outfield players and obviously Lawrence so we should have cohesion and we found out last year what a good start can do and finally for me Richie what is your target what is realistic for next season I've no idea I've no idea if we was going into that league last year and I would have thought, I just had a previous interview. And f- for me, Plymouth's achievement of getting over 100 points. I think Ipswich were either 100 points or close to 100 points. Sheffield Wednesday were 97. Barnsley and Bolton were 85, 86. 
they usually them kind of points can get you automatic which says to me that the bottom of the league I mean even the relegation was going down on low low points so there's an opportunity I think next year will be an opportunity because I don't think the three coming down will be as strong as the three going up and I think there's an opportunity for I see Burton making a lot of signings doing a lot of good business Bristol Rovers have got a bit of money Fleet would have made some good signings I think there'll be clubs like that that you expect to be in the middle of the bottom that will challenge for the playoffs yeah, I think a couple of them will get in so um, interesting league I have not got a clue you asked me this question last year and I said if we finish above Northampton and Mansfield I'll be very very happy and if we finish above Bolton and Derby next year I'll be even f- happier <laughs>